Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, if you are preparing for an API testing interview, you are in the right place. Today, I am going to share 10 real world scenario based API testing interview questions and also I will explain them in a super simple way so you can answer them confidently in your interviews. But guys, before we start, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you find this video helpful, please don't forget to drop a comment and let me know which question you like the most. Alright guys, so let's get started. So our first question means, API is returning 500 error, what to do in this case? So imagine this, you are sending a request to an API and boom, you got a 500 internal server error. What does this mean? A 500 error means something went wrong on the server. To debug it, first check the error message and API logs for clues. Second, try sending the request with postman or CURL to see if it happens every time. Third is, check if it's happening in all environments or just one, like a staging versus production. And if you still can't figure it out, talk to the backend team. They might find an issue in the database or code. Now let's move to the next question. So our second question means, how to test an API that requires authentication? Some APIs need authentication like an API key, OAuth token or JWT token. To test them, first use valid and invalid tokens to see how the API behaves. Second, check for the correct status codes like 401 unauthorized or 403 forbidden. Third, try using expired tokens and see if the API refreshes them properly. Now let's move to the next question. So this question means how to check API response time. So first you tell me, does speed matters? If an API is too slow, users will get frustrated. How do we check response time? First, use Postman test scripts to measure response time automatically. Second, Use JMeter to check how the API performs under heavy load. Third, if the response is slow, the issue could be slow database queries or network latency. Now let's move to the next question. This question means, how to test an API with rate limiting? Some APIs have rate limiting, which means you can only send a certain number of requests in a given time. So first, try sending too many requests quickly and check if you get a 429 too many requests error. Second, look at the rate limit headers like X rate limit remaining. Third, test if the API allows requests again after the cooldown period. Now, let's move to the next question. This question means how to handle dynamic values in API responses. So sometimes APIs return values and change every time, like timestamps, session IDs or tokens. To handle them, first, instead of checking exact values, compare them within a valid time range. Second, use JSON path and expert to extract values dynamically instead of hard coding them. Third, to store values as variables and use them in later requests. So now let's move to the next question. This question means how to test APIs with pagination. So many APIs return data in pages instead of all at once. So we need to test pagination properly. So what we have to do first check if page numbers like page is equal to 1, page is equal to 2 return the correct results. Second, verify the total number of items matches what is expected. Third, test what happens if you request a page that doesn't exist, like page is equal to 4 times 9. Fourth, combine pagination with sorting and filtering to see if they work together. Now let's move to the next question. This question means how to test API security. So security is super important in API testing. Here is what you can test. First, try sending requests without authentication. So there you will get a 401 unauthorized response. Second, check for SQL injection by adding SQL queries in input fields. Third, check if the API leaks sensitive data like passwords or API keys. Fourth, test for cross-site scripting and cross-site request forgery attacks. Now let's move to the next question. So, this question means how to test APIs that depend on third-party services. 
So some APIs depend on third-party services like Weather API or Payment Gateway. So first, use mock servers like Wiremock to simulate responses. Second, test what happens when the third-party services fails or times out. Third, verify the API's retry mechanism. Does it try again after a failure or not? Now let's move to the next question. So this question means how to test APIs that process large data. If an API processes huge amount of data, it could run into problems. First, send large payloads to check if API can handle them. Second, test for timeout issues. Does the server crash under heavy load? Third, use JMeter to simulate many users sending large requests at once. Fourth, verify data integrity. Does all the data processed correctly? Now let's move to the next question. This question means how to integrate API testing in a CI-CD pipeline. So finally, let's talk about automation API tests in CI-CD pipeline. What we have to do first, use Postman, Newman or Rest Assured to automate API tests. Second, integrate with Jenkins, GitHub Actions or Azure DevOps to run tests on every code change. Third, generate detailed test reports so the team can quickly see failures. Fourth, get up alerts so developer can fix issues immediately. And that's it guys. These are some of the most commonly asked scenario based API testing questions that are asked in interviews. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And let me know in comments which question did you find the most interesting or do you want me to cover more topics on API testing. Let's discuss in the comments. See you in the next video. Take care and happy testing guys. Bye bye.